Hello, what is up guys? Evil Do Us Arm here, and uh, today we are going to be doing my predictions for the team of the season, most consistent gold. Now, um, this should be coming out this week, this Wednesday coming, or the Wednesday after. So, the week of what, the 8th or the 7 plus 8 is 15. So, the 8th or the 15th are my two predictions on when this team will start coming out, and then after that, there will be different team of the seasons every week. I will do my prediction the week before, going on, off of whatever one's coming after. If that made sense, then great. If not, then um, you'll see as I go. Anyway, first up, we have Ruben Castro Martin. We're starting with the bench. It's going to be a center forward. My prediction for all these, I just bumped their overall up four points from their current version. Now, um, how I pick these teams is just a whole bunch of research, comparing, contrasting. I'm not going to get into the depth of it, but anyway. So yeah, he looks like a decent card, yeah, not one of the highlights of the team, but maybe you like his regular and you just want to wanna have something to play with or something or not. And as you can see, the formation is 4-3-3 as well, that's what I'm going to guess that this team of the season is going to come out with. But anyway, moving on to the next player, Jermaine Lenz, going to be a great Netherlands right wing um, alternative to Aaron Robin. His shooting, his pace, dribbling should all be outstanding for the position. Moving on to the next player. Jakob, Claudio Jakob, Jacob, Jacob sounds better. Anyway, decent center defensive mid, Premier League, Argentinian, great alternative to Cambioso, Cambiaso, as um, CDMs go um, for Argentina, but other than that, nothing amazing standout-wise, but it'll be a solid card nonetheless. Moving on, we have Seuk Inyan, and um, if I didn't butcher that pronunciation, Looks like a decent card, terrible league, but, and, um, yeah, league or one team, whichever you want to call it. And, um, nationality is not the greatest either, but it will allow for some switching up to a center attacking mid to link up to Yilmaz. So, not, not terrible, but not the greatest as well. You still have Wesley Snyder for that. Anyway, moving on to the next player, we have Nastasic from Manchester City. Excellent upgrade all around for this player. Definitely is going to play a lot better than a 79. Like I said, I just bumped them up over 4 overall, just as a guess of what they will be. Solid defensive stats, solid pace, will be a great Barclays center back, and shouldn't be too expensive either. Next up we have Mangala. Mangala. Um, excellent French center back, great with uh, Kabul, I'd imagine. Great defending stats, he'll be one of the um, highlights of this team, probably be one of the more expensive players on the team. However, he is in a poor, poor league, which helps um, lower his price a little bit. Moving on to the next player here, we have Simon Mingole, Mignole. Mignole. Um, solid goalie, nothing spectacular. He is um, six foot four, though I believe in game, so he will get to a lot of shots. He'll just basically he'll basically be an inform Joe Hart, I would imagine. He'll play just like him, except inform and blue. So, but his price will be a bit higher than Joe Hart, so I'd recommend just stay with Joe Hart. But anyway, moving on, we have Alessandro Diamanti as a cam. Um, he'll be a solid center attacking mid, great shooting stats, great dribbling, great all around. Um, but there are the other, there's Marchisios and not, yeah, just a lot of other s midfield options for Italy, meaning this player won't be too expensive as well. Alright, so now moving on to the team. Well, that was the team. That was the first team. That was the left wing on the 4-3-3 team. Um, this will be Landon Donovan at center forward. Had a great season. As an American, I'm just ecstatic for this card, but probably won't buy it until the very end of this season like I normally do by my USA team with all its informs. Anyway, it looks solid for us uh, Americans over here, but um, he had a great season and solid player to put up top next to uh, anyone, really. Anyone in the MLS, anyway. We link him to Thierry Henry, and um, that's about it. So, moving on to the next player, the right wing. Car well, I clicked the wrong way. Moving on to the next player, we have Carlos Vela. This will be an excellent right wing to use in the league at BBVA. Excellent pace, excellent shot, excellent dribbling. Basically what you need for a right wing. Passing's not too bad to boot be a great alternative to an Angel Di Maria. However, Di Maria will still probably be cheaper than this. Will definitely be cheaper than this card. So it's basically if you just want a blue card to replace Angel Di Maria. Moving on to the first center mid, Mikel Arteta. Michael Arteta. Um, 
He's got solid pace, solid shooting, solid dribbling, solid passing, great Spanish midfielder, great Barclays midfielder, honestly. Not too many center mids in the Barclays Premier League. So he will um he'll be great great for that. Um so moving on to the next player, this is the highlight of the team. Well, I guess the um the second highlight of the team. You'll see the final player, that's why I'm going in reverse order than usual. Um Javier Martinez. Javi Martinez. Excellent defending stats. Might as well just play him on center back on five chemistry, honestly, because um just look at those defensive stats. That's just not even that's just plus four adding plus four to the stats not even doing anything spectacular to them, so he will be quite an excellent center defensive mid. Anyway, moving on to the final midfielder, we have Borja Valero. Um, I used his regular before, the shot was actually pretty nice on it, I felt anyway. Pa passing was excellent on the card, he was an excellent holding midfielder in a 4-5-1 for me, and um, he should be an excellent midfielder, Spanish once again, but Serie A, and there's many more alternatives to him, so he probably once again won't be expensive. Moving on to the center backs, well, this is the left back in the team, as you'll see. It's Salvatore Abocchetti, um, one of the most used Russian league center backs. <sighs> really solid defensive stats. Honestly, he'll probably be one of the best Italian center backs as well. Put in the 3-5-2 um, with Ogbona, um, Chiellini, and Bocchetti, so I would, I would imagine his price will actually be quite expensive. Plus, he will be the best Russian Premier League center back. So... Um, yeah, moving on to the first actual center back in the team, Phil Jekielka. Um Excellent defensive stats for a center back. Really one of the, probably the fourth or third highlight of the team. Um, definitely going to be an amazing defender. Moving on, we have Nicholas Nkulu, another amazing defender on this team. Um, excellent pace, excellent defensive stats. Definitely be a highlight probably to put next to your... Um, Team of the Year, uh, Thiago Silva in the uh, League One and Serie A team of the season that'll be coming out later. Plus, he's Cameroonian, which um, doesn't help at all. So, moving on to the right back, Sasha Reiter. Um, solid defensive stats, not really the greatest. Good German link to link up a German and Barclays team, perhaps. Um, but other than that, just a, uh, a card there. Um, so, and finally, the highlight of this team this season, in my opinion, is going to be Arthur Moraes. I'm about 93% certain on this one. So this is, uh, him and Javi Martinez are my two highest predicted players of probability that I've come up with here. Anyway, <coughs> those stats for a goalkeeper, spectacular. He is six foot three, I believe. Therefore, he will make a lot of saves, excellent reflexes, positioning, diving, handling, Everything will be his. But anyway, um, this is my team of the season. Here, we'll take a look at it real quick. Um, yeah, <coughs> there it is. Um, if you uh, like this, um, you know, let me know. Post some comments. Think I missed someone? Uh, comment. Like and subscribe would be wonderful. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And um, I hope I'm right. So <laughs> thanks again, guys. Evil Do Us Harm, signing out.